Have you ever been bored out of your mind to the point where you had no motivation to play video games? There's no doubting that Fortnite in its current state isn't exactly feeling super fun. Updates have been stale, gameplay is getting a bit repetitive, and honestly, the game is definitely in a bit of a slump right now. And that's why in this video, we'll be going over some awesome ways you can practice and keep up your skill in Fortnite while we're waiting for some new updates to come out. And alongside that, don't forget to check out ProGuides.com down in the description to find a pro coach who can help you step up your game as well. Our coaches are tailored to every of all skill levels and can help you improve fast. Check us out down below, we're waiting. But with that out of the way, let's hop right into it. The first way you can practice while you're bored of Fortnite is by starting to learn a new input, aka learning keyboard and mouse if you play controller, or learning controller if you play keyboard and mouse. Now, this method may seem a bit counterintuitive since you're literally learning the opposite input than the one you use, but can actually be super helpful. You can learn new strategies from the other input, maybe even carry some new tricks or techniques over to your native input, and you can improve on the other input overall as well in case you ever decide to switch. Overall, this method of learning another input isn't necessarily the most efficient in terms of practice, but it's definitely a fun experience and you can still learn some interesting stuff as well. Next up, our second thing you can do when you're bored in Fortnite is find and master a new landing spot. Learning a new landing spot will allow you to be more consistent in early game, and mastering a new area in loop route is a great way to improve your gameplay and do something new. Find your spot, develop a loot route, and grind that spot out until you master it. Not only will it help you improve your gameplay, but it's a pretty cool process and can help you in arena and competitive if you play those as well. Third up on our list, we've got the classic pastime that so many players from beginner to pro love, and that's Zone Wars. As you probably know, Zone Wars is basically a simulation of a competitive endgame in creative. You can play free-for-all Zone Wars, which are just like a solo game, or 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, or 4v4 Zone Wars, which are basically team fights. In Zone Wars, you'll improve at the game, and it's a pretty fun pastime as well, so there's really no downside. If you want to run some Zone Wars, you can simply load up into one of the featured maps, one of which is usually a Zone War, or do creative fill. Or you can also use a Team Zone War map if you have some people to play against. If you want to do that, here are a few map codes. First, we have Clicks Team Zone Wars. Next, we have Box PvP Time Zone Wars. And finally, we have Evoked Team Zone Wars. Also, if you need to find some people to play with or against, feel free to ask the LFG chats in the ProGuides Community Discord, which will be down in the description below. We've got a great community there and plenty of people to play with, so be sure to check it out. Another awesome method to practice and do something new is to play a tournament. Tournaments can be so many different things, from Hype Nights to Cash Cups to even FNCS and DreamHack. Playing in a tournament is a sure way to gain some valuable experience and improve at the game at the same time. Not to mention, you also have the chance of placing high or making money if you practice and do well. So tournaments are honestly a solid choice. Even if you're newer to competitive, tournaments are a great way to try something new and get started. And even if you perform poorly, you'll still learn and improve, which is all we can really ask for to start, right? Moving on from that, another great option to improve when you're bored of Fortnite is to hop off the game and watch some content based around improving. A bunch of channels make educational videos about the game, which can help you just as much as playing the game yourself. So taking a break once in a while and just consuming content to improve is certainly a solid option. Videos like that can be found on this channel and channels like Resub, Gronky, Your Fellow Arab, and others. In fact, if you just click on our channel and go to the videos tab, you can find a ton of other tips and tricks videos meant to help you improve. While you're over there, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button as well because we've got some insane stuff planned out for the future. With that said, our fifth practice method in this video is a bit less common, but one that helps you improve a ton and can really bring some new light to the game, and that's getting coached by another player. Finding a coach can help you sprout new motivation, find new methods to improve your gameplay, and really just help you reach a higher level in the game. Coaches can help you with so many things from game sense and decision making to building, editing, aiming, and more, so it's definitely worth a shot. Speaking of that, if you want to find a coach, then be sure to check out our website, proguides.com, where we have exactly that. On our website, we have pro players who can teach you new strategies and help you improve at the game way faster than usual. So if you're interested in getting coached, your first stop should definitely be proguides.com. 
Moving on to number six, this is a good one. Our next tip is practicing team modes. The majority of players tend to play mostly solos, and to be honest, it can get really boring after a while. Like, really, really boring. And that's why practicing team modes is so great. It really brings a new light into the game, and you can go on your improvement journey with other players as well. Whether you want to find a team to play tournaments with and possibly make money, or if you just want to find some cool people to improve with, finding a team of people to play with and learn from is absolutely amazing and really adds a new element to the game, which will really make it more fun. Whether it's true arena, public matches, playing 2v2s, 3v3s, and 4v4s, or if you simply play some matches together for fun, the team element really adds a lot of spark to the game. And as we mentioned earlier, our Pro Guys Discord has some great players if you're interested in that. Once again, it'll be linked down below if you're interested in that. Moving on to number seven, this one is playing some unique creative maps. Creative maps vary so much and there are honestly some amazing maps that you should be using to improve, which just might bring some new spark and help you improve your mechanics. A content creator named Raider464 recently made a list of his favorite maps to improve, so we thought it would be great to include that list in this video. The list has so many maps ranging from warm-ups to peace control maps, speed practice, aim training, and free building. So without further ado, we'll put the picture up on the screen so you can screenshot or take note of the ones you're interested in trying out. Finally guys, our last method in this video is to consider simply taking a break. Fortnite can get boring at times, and especially if you're grinding a ton to improve, it really might be a good idea to simply take a break and enjoy some other games while you regain your motivation. Even the best pros like Clicks, Booga, and others play different games on stream when they're not feeling like playing Fortnite, and you can easily argue that playing other games may even make you better at Fortnite. If that doesn't make sense, think about it like this. When you're tired of the game and not enjoying it, your practice is often inefficient and you'll often play poorly simply because you don't want to be playing in the first place. Taking a break can help you clear your head, get your motivation back, and make you not only play better, but also feel better doing it. By that logic, it might be a good idea for some of you guys to simply take a short break, whether it's a half hour or a few days. Get that motivation back and hop into the game motivated to practice and become the best that you can be. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for this video on the best ways you can practice and improve at Fortnite during these slightly boring times. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you went on to enjoy this video and you can see yourself using these methods, consider dropping a like and subscribing if you want to see more videos just like this in the future. We're working super hard to keep providing you guys the best content, so subscribing really helps us a lot and it allows you to see our videos every time we post. And finally, be sure to check out ProGuides.com to find your pro coach and take the next step toward reaching the top level in Fortnite. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.